subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. Tropical Depression Ambo was named by the Philippines yesterday, their time. Uh, of course, now we're already into Monday morning at 9 a.m. Its current position is 8.3 degrees north, 129.0 degrees east, and looking rather interesting in latest imagery. Uh, currently still with winds of 35 miles per hour, that's 60 kilometers per hour, pressure of 1,003 millibars, moving north-northwest at 7 miles per hour, that's 12 kilometers per hour. Now a CDPS stage 5, down slightly, because the storm, uh, the model trajectories have taken it just a little bit further away from the Philippines, but we're still looking at potentially a devastating landfall on Catanduanes on May 15th and possibly other areas after that. Well, here it is right now at 9am May 11th. Um, still a tropical depression. It hasn't yet been recognized by the JTWC or by the Japanese Meteorological Agency. It's 258 miles from Davao in Mindanao, 341 from Tacloban, 376 from Cebu, 539 from Naga and 696 from the capital Manila. Still no warnings out just yet and we'll let you know if that changes. So here it is right now, uh, what the agencies and the uh, tools have been telling us it's pretty much exactly the same as it was at our last update 12 hours ago just that the position of this system has changed moved a little bit further towards the west here is our latest forecast cone from force 13 for this depression over the next five days you can see they're becoming a typhoon on thursday and then potentially rapidly intensifying that will be aided because this system is expected to be rather small and then late on in that forecast there you're looking the cone of uncertainty much of luzon is in that and the center of the storm could track anywhere within that cone in the next five days well let's see what the gfs model is saying you can see the precipitable water here and you can quite clearly see the structure of this cyclone as it traverses towards the philippines they're really getting its act together later on and then plowing just past Luzon, in fact not calling for a landfall anymore, the GFS model. ECMWF takes it straight through Luzon. Uh, I believe the CMC or the ICON does the same. You can also see on the very far left hand side of your screen there a cyclone forming in the Indian Ocean, the Bay of Bengal as well. So there's potentially two cyclones to watch. Sea surface temperatures remain fairly warm where this system is right now down in the deep tropics we're looking at temperatures of around 29 or 30 degrees celsius in fahrenheit these temperatures are on the screen that's around 84 to 86 degrees looking at the uh, projection on the wind speeds the greens there that's tropical storm status then it becomes a typhoon that's the yellows then you see the oranges creep in that's category two category three maybe even category four according to some models that's the latest gfs clipping the eastern coast of loser uh, and this is what the models are saying as a whole there you can see uh, a few bullish ones hwrf and ctcx just as before calling for a minimal category four what is really in this system's favor is the wind shear which as you can see throughout the whole five day period is near nil sea surface temperatures very warm relative humidity decent so really the only thing stopping this storm right now from developing and becoming a substantial typhoon is itself may storms like this can happen there have been some particularly intense ones in the past so uh, the higher reaches of the Sappho Simpson scale can definitely not be ruled out for this system as it develops it's certainly starting to look better in more recent frames starting to really get uh, potentially that circulation going uh, and its pattern there with the convective cloud cover starting to look pretty good I think it really should be a tropical depression on the JTWC and we'll probably see a tropical storm in the next 24 hours check out our new look cyclone tracker on the force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information you can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter, for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. 
To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.